Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're having a great day as usual. Today we're going to be talking about rumours because there has been a huge, huge rumour dump involving Chaos Space Marines, Imperial Guard, World Eaters were mentioned, Eldar were mentioned, even the Squats were mentioned, which we'll get onto in the latter part of this video. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump in, we're going to go through it all. I'm going to talk about some of the stuff which makes sense to me, which I've also heard about as well. So it does add a little bit of um, foundations to certain aspects of these rumours. So let's just jump in and... Let's get talking. Now, just to make you aware for people who want to go and click on a link to read this, I don't have a link for you to click on. Apparently, this was posted over on Bolter and Chainsword, but since then, it has been deleted. But before it was deleted, people have took screenshots, they've took, um, you know, they've copied the text from it. It's been posted in my Discord, it's been posted in other people's 40k Discords, it's on Twitter, it's on Reddit, it's on Facebook's group. So if you know where to go, you can find it. I just don't have a link to give you at this moment in time so that's why there's no link included in this these are not my rumors these are rumors from the interwebs now let's start with this year and it all kicks off in september so next month and it starts with of course the new orc releases which we already know about but apparently the black templar army box set so these army box sets are basically like what the beast snagger got and the sisters of battle got where it's like a limited edition box set you get a limited edition codex in there and you get a few models now i can confirm in this video that i've actually seen the box set i know the box set is coming i just don't know when it's coming apparently it's coming out in september which will be a pretty eye-opener let's say because the orcs and the black templars all releasing in the same month that is a big bold move um from games workshop and of course then we know that in um november the rest of the black templar stuff is is getting released. I've already covered the Black Templar stuff and what they're getting. I've done that in previous videos. If you want to go and check that out, then I'll put the links in the description of this video and you can go and listen to all that stuff. Now, there is no mention of Horus Heresy, but again, this is Warhammer 40,000 based, so maybe there's still a chance that the Horus Heresy is coming out in October. There's been, again, a plenty of rumours about that, but nothing in concrete at this moment in time. What it does state, though, in December, is we're getting a brand new box set and this actually does make a lot of sense so in this box set there's got to be custodies and gene stealer cults this is going to contain two new characters it's going to be a gene stealer cult is saboteur and there's also going to be a custodies lieutenant what i will add to that rumor is that i have heard that the custodies are getting a new hq character so it's looking like they are getting a new custodial lieutenant. Everyone gets lieutenants these days, lieutenants, lieutenants, whatever you want to bloody call them. Again, it does make sense um, with the roadmap as well, because in the roadmap, as we talked about a couple of days ago, they did mention in December that we are, are getting two new dexes. One would be Xenos, and one would be custodial. Sorry, one would be Imperium, and one would be Xenos. So it makes sense that it's Gene Sealers and custodies because when they do these army box sets as we've seen with the thousand sons and the gray knight ones they release the codexes at the same time so that is looking like a dead certain rumor as well so custodies and gene stealer cults coming out in december now moving on to next year this is where the fun begins let's say so in january 2022 it says we're going to get a new tau codex with a reworked plastic dark strider um, I don't know what that means, how big that could be. I don't know. I really care about the rules that much. But it doesn't mention any new models, anything like that. It just says a reworked plastic Dark Strider. So I don't think it's going to be a big release for the Tau, which is quite a shame because I think Am is like the Tau, the Tyranids and stuff deserve big range refreshes like we've been seeing with the rest of the Xenos factions that have had them already. Pushing on is Chaos Space Marines. There's no date given for here. It just says Chaos Space Marines. And apparently they are getting... A hell of a lot of stuff. So it says Chaos Space Marines here. It's got listed regular possessed, bikers, chosen, a warp smith, cultist, and it says in the Black Stone Fortress style, Renegade Guard, Black Stone Fortress style, human mutants, possessed humans, and it says the latter are too um, uh, monster to be horrible, um, cultist standard bearer, who is a character, and a cultist character with bodyguards again from what i've heard from the whispers in the warp is that chosen 
um, seem to be coming, and a new Warp Smith seems to be coming as well. So two things that stand out on that list to me do make sense. I haven't heard about regular possessed bikers, cultist, renegade guard. I've heard nothing about that type of stuff, but that is a big, big indication to me on where Chaos could be going. I know we've had a lot of talk recently about Chaos and the two wounds, and the, the, we've had talk, why haven't they released an FAQ? Of course, it's down to that they want to milk you for your money so you can buy a codex, because if they do it in FAQ, it's just free, and if they do it in a codex, it means you have to go out, but really, do you really buy codexes these days? I know I don't, um, but there, that's the really the way that they're looking to to do it i think personally that's why they haven't updated chaos to two wounds as of yet and they will do it when eventually it comes out hopefully it's in the start of 2022 because i know there's a lot of chaos space green players out there and i keep seeing your complaints and i completely agree with you next on this list it mentions chaos knights which again i've already done a video covering if you want to go and watch that i'll include the link to it in the description of this video as well um next up is craft world eldar now now, this is the funny one for me because it says here, Craftworld Eldar, a massive but incomplete update of the Eldar, which really confuses me with the wording. I don't know what a massive but incomplete update to the Eldar is. As we joked about on my stream the, the other night, is that like they're going to give you new models but their arms are missing? Like, what really is that? Is, is it like part of it being updated but it's not fully updated are we going to see like a double part update like what the orcs got where they got their vehicles first and then like they're getting their boys and everything else and stuff now um really what does that mean if i was um an eldar player i would want everything right now i'm sure you as an eldar player if you listen to this you want everything right now because how long has it been since eldar have really got a proper proper update i know they've had little bits tiny bits but nothing massive so i'm hoping when the uh, craft world eldar stuff does drop um again we've heard rumors about this um it's going to be big it's going to be massive we're all going to jump for joy and you pointy ears can try and take the galaxy back but you'll fail and you will all be wiped out now hold on to your bums because we are about to go down the rabbit hole and this rabbit hole goes deep it goes very deep and we're going to start of course which is at the top of this list anyway um it says um nothing with a date but is in the pipeline and it squats squats are mentioned on here now as i mentioned in the stream the other day when we talk about this i think there's two camps when it comes to squats you have the camp which is yes i love squats squats are amazing please bring them back and there is the opposite camp which is how dare they even think about bringing squats back to this game they're silly they're stupid they belong in fantasy they don't belong in warhammer 40,000. um what i would say about this rumor um is i've heard it now for about two years nothing from a concrete source um who you know i trust or anything like that but it keeps coming back to me it keeps bouncing off the wall and coming right back in my face so i think something potentially could be happening with squats i'm not saying that it's going to be uh, a full army refresh maybe it's something like a kill team of squats or you know something hilarious like that um but who knows squats are mentioned on here and if they did come back what do you think would you like would you like that? Would you hate that? Um, is it for you? Um, do you? Did you play squats back in the day? What do you think about squats? We had some evidence already in the lore about squats returning with the psychic awakening stuff, with that little blurb of text that was cut off. So maybe they're building the foundations to slowly uh, to reintroduce them back into the Warhammer 40,000 storyline. Next up on this list is World Eaters, and what I will add to this is that I 110% believe World Eaters are getting a codex. I've heard it from a source who I trust 110%. Um, the only thing to talk about is what's going to be coming when the World Eater Codex drops. Is it going to be a new Primark Angron model? Is it going to be new Berserkers? Is it going to be new characters? I think that's the talking point now. It's not if we're going to get a World Eater Codex, it's when and what's going to drop with it. What I will say is that if they release a World Eater Codex and they don't bring Demonic Angron back, I think that would be one of the biggest slaps 
you can probably do to someone. Because when you look at the Founds and Sons, when you look at the Death Guard, when they got their individual codexes, or codexes, whatever you want to pronounce it, they got their Primarchs dropping with them. And if you didn't do that with Angron, I think it would just, it would, it, it would just be, it would be shameful. It would, it, it, it would be a betrayal to every World Eater fan out there. And I want it to happen. I really, 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 really want Demonic Angron to get a new model. Uh, World Eaters are my favorite Chaos Space Marine um, traitors. Sp 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 space Marine traitors, but I can't even speak. Traitors. Um, so if they did get all that new stuff, I would definitely be making a, uh, um, a World Eater Force. Hands down. No questions asked about it. I'll have Demonic Angron in my cabinet. I'll be blood full of blood god in all across the battlefield. So hopefully... Fingers crossed, we do get Angron, we get new Berserkers, we get a, like an awesome brand new range refresh when it comes to the World Eaters. And lastly on this list, it mentions the Astra Militarum. The what now? It's the Imperial Guard, son. Um, so the Imperial Guard are basically, it says here, getting a new veteran-style Cadians, because Cadian doesn't exist anymore, and they're probably all mad about that. It does mention two new regiments are also in the works, which is interesting, because when it says two new regiments... Does it mean two regiments who are already in the law, which are going to get a new update, or does it mean completely, completely, completely new regiments? Like new law, new background, um, new art, you know, new models, new sculpts, everything like that. For me personally, I would like them to refresh one of the Imperial Guard ranges that they've already had. The Vostrians, the Talhallen, uh, the Valhallens, uh, the Praetorians. Come on, Games Workshop, give me my pith helmets. I want them like there's no tomorrow. So that's an interesting little rumor as um, as well. It also does mention that there's new Karakin models. Ka sorry, Kasurkin. We talked about this on the stream last night. I couldn't pronounce it. Kasurkin um, models and a new vehicle designed to fit between the Lehman Russ and the Baneblade. So like a bigger slash littler tank kind of thing. Makes sense if you're an Imperial Guard because it's all about having, you know, the bigger guns than your enemy and blasting them from a distance. Anyway, Chaperunios, that's the things that stood out on the list to me. Of course, I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on everything that we've talked about. The things that stand out to me, of course, are the squats, the world eaters, uh, the Chaos Space Marine stuff, which, you know, hopefully that does happen because they deserve to get a lot of love. Um, the Astra Militarum um, is quite funky as well, as we've just talked about. Two new regiments, that's really got to stick with me. Hopefully they really, really do like an old regiment and it's not like new regiments that we're not attached to. Um, anyway, post everything down below, your thoughts, feedback, everything like that, and we can have a nice little talk down there, um, as we always do. See you now, have a great day, and bye-bye.